Phantom Liberty achieved a remarkable sales milestone by selling 4.3 million copies within just two months of its release. This significant achievement showcases the strong demand and positive reception from the gaming community. The expansion's success was evident from the very beginning. With a staggering 3 million copies sold in its first week post-launch, this rapid sales pace highlights the high anticipation and eagerness of gamers to experience the expansion. A large portion of these sales, approximately 68%, were made on the PC platform. This dominance of PC sales underscores the platform's popularity among Cyberpunk 2077 players and possibly reflects a preference for the PC's gaming experience. The sales were geographically widespread, with North America leading at 35.9%, closely followed by Europe at 35.1%. Asia contributed a significant 23.1% while Australia, South America, and Africa collectively accounted for the remainder. The success of Phantom Liberty also had a positive ripple effect on the sales of the base game, Cyberpunk 2077. The expansion's reception and CD Projekt's effective marketing strategies helped rejuvenate interest in the main game. The sales performance is particularly noteworthy given the initial challenges faced by Cyberpunk 2077 at its launch. The success of Phantom Liberty not only signifies a turnaround for the game but also represents a major victory for CD Projekt, both in terms of financial growth and reputation within the gaming industry. Dominance of PC Sales The expansion's sales figures revealed a significant preference for the PC platform. A remarkable 68% of the total copies of Phantom Liberty were sold on PC. This high percentage is a clear indicator of the platform's popularity among the game's player base, why PC platform dominates. There are several factors that could contribute to this preference for PC. Technical performance. PCs often offer superior hardware capabilities compared to consoles, allowing players to experience better graphics and smoother gameplay. For a visually intensive game like Cyberpunk 2077, this aspect is crucial. Modding community. The PC gaming community is known for its active modding scene. Players might prefer PC to take advantage of mods that enhance or personalize the gaming experience. Control preferences Some players prefer the precision of mouse and keyboard controls for RPGs, which could sway their choice towards PC. Comparison with console sales While the specific figures for console sales were not provided, their combined sales comprised the remaining 32% of the total. This suggests that while there is a significant audience for Cyberpunk 2077 on consoles, the PC platform had a distinct edge in terms of sales for this expansion. Industry trend The predominance of PC sales for Phantom Liberty aligns with a broader industry trend where certain game genres, especially RPGs, often see higher sales on PC. This can be attributed to the long-standing history and established player base of RPGs on this platform. Implications for future releases The overwhelming preference for PC in the sales of Phantom Liberty could influence CD Projekt's future development and marketing strategy, potentially leading them to focus more resources on optimizing future content for PC players. This platform distribution insight not only highlights the current gaming market trends but also showcases the specific preferences of the Cyberpunk 2077 community. It underscores the importance of platform considerations in both game development and marketing strategies. The expansion saw a significant majority of its sales, approximately 68%, on the PC platform. This overwhelming preference indicates a strong inclination among Cyberpunk 2077 players towards the PC gaming experience. Factors influencing PC popularity Superior hardware and performance PC gamers often have access to high-end hardware that can provide enhanced graphics and smoother gameplay, which is crucial for graphically intensive games like Cyberpunk 2077. Customization and modding the PC platform is renowned for its modding community. Players can customize their game experience with mods, which is a significant draw for many gamers. Control flexibility. PC gaming offers flexibility and control options, including the precision of mouse and keyboard controls, which can be preferred for RPGs and first-person shooters. Comparison with console platforms. The remaining 32% of the sales were split between the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, S consoles. Despite these platforms' advanced capabilities, they didn't match the sales volume seen on PC for this expansion. Reflection of Gaming Trends This sales trend reflects a broader pattern in the gaming industry, where certain genres, like RPGs, tend to perform better on PC. This can be attributed to the long-standing presence and dedicated player base of RPGs on PC. Marketing and Development Implications The dominance of PC sales for Phantom Liberty could potentially influence CD Projekt's future development decisions. Recognizing the platform's popularity could lead to a greater focus on optimizing future releases for PC. 
ensuring the best possible experience for the largest segment of their player base. Community and cultural factors The strong sales on PC might also reflect cultural and community aspects of the Cyberpunk 2077 player base. The PC gaming community has a rich culture of engagement, discussion, and content creation, which can enhance the overall experience of playing and following the game. These insights into the platform North America's leading share. North America emerged as the top region for sales, accounting for 35.9% of the total. This significant percentage underscores the strong popularity of Cyberpunk 2077 in this region, possibly reflecting cultural preferences, marketing effectiveness, and the widespread availability of gaming infrastructure. Europe's close pursuit. Europe was a close second in sales, contributing 35.1% to the total. This nearly equivalent share suggests a similarly high level of enthusiasm and engagement with the game across various European countries, where RPG gaming has a strong tradition and fan base. Asia's notable contribution Asia made a substantial contribution to the sales, with 23.1% of the total. This figure reflects the growing influence and engagement of Asian markets in the global gaming industry, especially in regions like Japan, South Korea, and China, where gaming is a major part of popular culture. Other regions' contributions The remaining sales were spread across Australia, South America, and Africa. While these percentages are smaller compared to the leading regions, they indicate Cyberpunk 2077's global appeal and the diverse geographic reach of its player base. Implications of Geographical Distribution this distribution highlights the global appeal of Cyberpunk 2077 and the importance of tailoring marketing and distribution strategies to different regions. It also suggests potential areas for future growth and expansion, particularly in emerging gaming markets. Cultural and market factors The varying percentages across regions might also reflect cultural preferences, economic factors, and the availability of gaming platforms. For instance, the popularity in North America and Europe could be influenced by higher PC and console penetration rates and a long-standing culture of RPG gaming. Strategic Insights for CD Projekt Understanding this geographical distribution is crucial for CD Projekt in terms of future marketing campaigns, localization efforts, and customer support services. Catering to the specific needs and preferences of different regions can help in maximizing the game's reach and success. This detailed examination of the geographical sales distribution demonstrates the widespread appeal of Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty and provides insights into the global dynamics of the gaming market. It shows how different regions contribute to the overall success of a game and the importance of understanding and addressing the diverse needs of the global gaming community. Positive impact on base game sales The launch and success of Phantom Liberty significantly boosted the sales and interest in the base game. Cyberpunk 2077 the surge is a result of the positive reception of the expansion and the effective marketing strategies employed by CD Projekt. The expansion's high quality and engaging content helped rekindle interest in the main game, drawing in both new players and those who might have been hesitant initially. Revitalizing Cyberpunk 2077 Prior to Phantom Liberty, Cyberpunk 2077 faced various challenges, including technical issues and mixed reviews at its initial launch. However, the expansion played a crucial role in altering the game's narrative, showcasing CD Projekt's commitment to improving and expanding the game. This turnaround is a testament to the developer's dedication to addressing feedback and enhancing the player experience. Significant financial and reputational boost The sales success of Phantom Liberty has had a substantial impact on CD Projekt's financial growth. It represents not just a recovery from the early setbacks but also a major victory in terms of revenue generation and profitability. This achievement has positively influenced the company's reputation in the gaming industry, demonstrating its capability to deliver high-quality content and regain player trust. Wider industry implications The turnaround story of Cyberpunk 2077, marked by the success of Phantom Liberty, serves as an important case study in the gaming industry. It highlights the potential for redemption and recovery even after a challenging launch. This success story is likely to influence how game developers approach post-launch support and ongoing development. The journey of Cyberpunk 2077, culminating in the triumph of Phantom Liberty illustrates the dynamic nature of the gaming industry and the importance of responsiveness to player feedback. It stands as a significant achievement for CD Projekt, reshaping the game's legacy and setting a new benchmark for future expansions and titles.